Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As we know, diagrams are always a part of life or if you're in a academic or you're in corporate, you need to show diagrams everywhere. In today's tutorial, I'm going to see how we can make diagrams in PowerPoint. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first, take a rectangle. Press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of it. Just we'll keep this as for our reference later. Select the rectangle, go to shape outline and change it to no outline. Come to shape fill, give it a, a decent gray color and right click here, format shape. Come to the second option called effects in this 3D format and give it some depth. For lettuce now, I will give you 50 depth. Come to 3D rotation under the preset menu, change it to isometric. So now we can see our block is ready. So I, I feel this is way thick. So I will reduce the thickness to or the depth by at least almost close to half. So I'll just make it 20 around. Yeah, this looks fine. I think uh, 15 will be a better. Yeah, this looks like a plate now. So I'll just press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of it and I'll press it. Uh, I'll keep it here. So in between, we are going to make a um, pattern, which which uh, filling pattern. So let us just keep these two things aside. Now let us make pattern first. So this was our uh, the base. So this was this is our uh, uh, width of the plate and this is the length of the plate. So on this only we have to make because it should match with that existing thing. I'll make one rectangle again. So this will be the height of rectangle. And again, I'll make one rectangle uh, vertically. Okay. Now I'll we'll remove this and ma make sure that these two are equal. It's all depend upon your application where you're using it. If in case both the fins which are there, uh, they have equal uh, width. So you can use uh, the same one. So for now, I will give it as uh, I will see how much it has. It has 0 0.09 for this is height for this will become width. So it will become 0 0.09. Yeah. Now it came same. Select uh, both go to shape outline and just click no outline i'll just keep it here so that it starts from here and i'll keep it here okay so now i'll press ctrl d make a duplicate and i'll place it somewhere here again ctrl d ctrl d again and again just to make duplicate of it select this vertical one and again press ctrl d and place it somewhere here and again press ctrl d to make duplicates so here we, yeah, our mesh is ready so I will just select them all. I'll go to format, merge shape. I'll make a union. So now it's a single shape. Now the same thing we have to do on this also. Select this, come to shape options, effect 3D rotation. I'll give a 3D rotation like this. The same we have done given before. And again, I'll give a height. For this case, let us give a little big height, 25. Okay. Shape fill again, you can change color. You can keep off your choice. Say it's a copper. You can just give it like an orange ascent color. We'll just keep it aside as of now. So first one you keep. Right click here and make it send to back. Take this one. Place it here. And again, take this. So you can see it's going behind. So just right click here and make it bring to front. So this way you can see your diagram is ready. But the second question comes now, if you want to make some cross section here, how you can do that. So it's pretty easy here. Let us take uh, this keep, let the top thing keep aside. So this was our base and you can take this option here called uh, the free from shape. I want to cut it uh, something like this. So I'll just unclose this here, walk. Again, I'll go to shape outline. I'll give no outline. Select this two, come to format, merge shape. I give it a subtract. Now the same thing you have to follow again. Now you, you got a section here. Uh, right click shape, format shape. I will not be doing because it's open the other side. I will come to effects, 3D rotation. I will give an isometric top view and I will give a depth again of the same which was we have given 15 and uh, we can change the shape fill color. In case you have any other color, you can just give around. It's not a problem. You can place it here again. And since you can see it's going behind, just right click here again and make it bring to front. Just adjust a little bit to give a decent height. And here we go, your diagram is ready, okay? Uh, what else you can do, say, just for visualization, this you cannot see clearly. What you can do, just select this, come to shape option. You can just make the contours width on so that you'll get a decent black color. So this, these things looks when you're printing it on some document or something. So like this, you can give it. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial and in case you like more tutorial on this kind of topics, please 
write in the comment box down below and uh, if you really like this video please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel for any further videos thank you very much